This is what it looks like outside, and that certainly is a nice view. The Pepper Rick House Distillery District live view shows that bright blue sky. Look at Keeneland. It is feeling very much like summer out there. Visibility is finally back up. We had some fog earlier this morning. It was dense into the mountains, and the max track showing pretty much nothing going on. The showers and storms are either coastal. That's a little bit that went through here. Uh, well, Ohio and West Virginia yesterday morning, and then became more of an issue out towards D.C. Uh, they've got showers and storms. It was a pretty impressive round that went through north of Houston. Uh, some heavier rain down towards Corpus Christi, and this is a little bit of winter weather in the mountains. In fact, they've got freeze warnings out and frost advisories out. You're looking at Medford, Oregon, Northern California there, out towards Idaho. For signs of that seasonal change, you start to see that colder air and that higher elevation snow out west. Obviously not a concern for us. There has been this stagnant upper low, this cold pool of air aloft over New England states. It's kept the weather unsettled. We've been far enough south. We've been just basking in some summer-like warmth here, even though we're into fall officially not just meteorolo meteorological fall. And October is about to kick in later this week, and it's still going to be running warm. You notice the future track. We've got the upper level setup showing uh, that there isn't a whole lot coming our way until over the weekend. We'll start to see systems getting going, and eventually we will see some cooler air following. So high pressure, a ridge of it, is holding for the next couple of days. So we'll continue to see ongoing showers and thunder showers from this very slow-moving, slow-crawling system out west, numerous into Missouri but still just off to our west. This is Thursday all the way into Friday. Notice it is still out west. So the rain chance ramps up the most significantly. Unfortunately, it does start to pop up Saturday, but ramps up the most significantly uh, into Sunday and then Monday uh, with that slow moving system. We're gonna trade in this stagnant, very beautiful pattern that we've been in for a stagnant, not so great pattern uh, late in the weekend. It's in the low 80s in Richmond. It's 79. Lexington, Danville are already up above our average high, and we've got the rest of the afternoon to warm up. So no surprise here. The departure from normal shows those cooler temperatures out into the Pacific Northwest where they're dealing with uh, what I just showed you there, that frost advisory and the freeze warnings. We are above normal, and we're staying that way uh, through the beginning of October and even into the early part of the weekend. But then next week, we will start to see, in addition to those shower and storm chances, firing up. Uh, late in the weekend, early next week, temperatures coming down, which will be reflected in your eight-day forecast. So for today, soak it up. Low 80s, it's dry. We had a cool front come through, so we do have a little bit of a northerly wind that will keep the humidity in check. So, yeah, it's uh, feeling pretty good out there. Another great day to just drive around with the windows down, sit out on the front porch, mostly sunny and warm. Upper 50s tonight, cool and dry. Now, I was trying trying to keep Saturday dry, but there is that chance that we'll start to see a few showers and storms firing up Saturday. I think the bulk of it, though, is going to come through late in the weekend. So you got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, beautiful weather, low to mid 80s today, around 80 tomorrow and Friday. Even when we cool down into the upper 70s Saturday, it's still above average, and then we're getting down close to our average high. Of course, we'll have a lot of cloud cover and rain around to wrap up the weekend. Some showers and storms. They'll be persistent with a slow-moving front next week. And, yeah, highs falling. Not dramatically, but still noticeable. Low 70s, even some upper 60s possible by the middle of next week.